BGP route dampening. Route dampening is a BGP feature designed to minimize the propagation of flopping routes across an internet network. A route is considered to be flopping when its availability alternates repeatedly. And there are some features, I mean terms, that we need to be familiar with. I want to just jump here. BGP route dampening terms. So the following terms are used when describing route dampening. Uh, one is, number one is uh, flop uh, route whose availability alternates repeatedly. Uh, okay, uh, it's talking about the route, but sometimes you know a, a port can be flopping as well. Uh, history rate, I mean history state. After a route flops once, it is assigned a penalty and put into history state, meaning the route tour does not have the best path based on historical information. This is something that we can verify using this command here, I believe, yeah. And next is penalty. Each time a route flops, the router Configured for route dampening in another autonomous system assigns the route a penalty of 1,000. We're going to look at this uh, later uh, in the debug output. Penalties are cumulative. The penalty for the route is stored in the BGP routing table until the penalty exceeds the suppressed limit. At that point, the route state changes from history to damp. And next is damp state. In this state, um, the route has flopped so often that the router will not advertise this route to BGP neighbors. And this is actually we can, something that we can verify with this command and we're going to look at that later. So here it displays the, it's actually already here, so it's duplicate command. It displays the damped pinned command, I mean routes, including the time remaining before it will be unsuppressed. And next is, what's that again? Dumped. In this state, the route has flopped so often that the router will not, okay. I think I talk, just talked about penalty. I got, uh, I got distracted. Okay, uh, yeah, just talked about that. Dump states, yeah. Uh, 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 yeah, we just talked about this, sorry. Uh, it got distracted. And next is suppress limit. A route is suppressed when its penalty exceeds this limit. The default is uh, 2000. And we're going to see this as well in the uh, debug output later. Half-life, once the route has been assigned a penalty, the penalty is decreased by half after the half-life period. Um, in the output, I think it says instead of decreased, it says decayed, but it just means decreased, which is 15 minutes by default. The process of reducing the penalty happens every five seconds. And reuse limit, as the penalty for a flapping route decreases and falls below the reuse limit, the route is unsuppressed. That is, the route is added back to the BGP table and once again used for forwarding. The default reuse is limit is 750. The process of unsuppressing routes occurs at 10 seconds, 10 second increments. Every 10 seconds, the router finds finds out which route are now unsuppressed and advertises them to the world. Okay, and last but not least, maximum suppress limit. This value is the maximum amount of time a route can be suppressed. Um, so there's actually a limit that the route can be suppressed. The value, uh, the default value is four times the half life. So half life is 15 minutes by default. So it's actually one R. All right, so the BGP, I mean the routes external to an autonomous system learned via BGP, IBGP are not dampened. This policy prevents the IBGP peers from having a higher penalty for routes external to the 
Dynamo system. Okay. Let me just go to the section where you can actually configure it here. So we have, um, of course, I just you know copied and pasted, copied and pasted this part here from that document, and I also copied the summary steps, which is here. Uh, but I have this <clears throat> topology where I can actually, uh, you know, uh, look at this feature or look at throughout dampening in action. So we have uh, R1 in AS1 and R2 in AS2, you can see here, and I'm using this subnet. 10.10.12.0 slash 24. Um, R1 is that one, R2 is that two. And I have a loopback zero on configured on R1. Let me just show you the, I was trying to look at this uh, before recording this video. I was trying it myself. Okay, so let me just show you the BGP configuration. Okay. So as you can see here, I'm, are, <clears throat> I mean, I'm advertising this route or host route into R2. And R2 is not advertising anything in, back into R1. Uh, and we see that uh, BGP is already configured, as you can see here. There's actually, um, so when you uh, configure it this way, uh, it actually applied uh, globally all to all the routes, because uh, there's actually another way to configure it, which is, I mean, you can actually supply a route map <clears throat> Uh, to basically match a specific route. But in this case, I'm just uh, configuring it, or I configured it for all uh, the routes. You can see it here, yeah, route map. <clears throat> you can apply the route map. Okay, I just wanted to show it to you. Next is, we can actually, uh, now we start uh, going to flap the route. I'm going to just show the, yeah. So BGP neighborship is, oops, established between the routers. And I already configured, I mean, entered uh, debug IP BGP dampening. I'm just going to do it again. <clears throat> so I'm going to let me just show the. I mean, do I show IP BGP? Okay, we can see. I mean, we can learn this route from uh, R1. Uh, you notice the next tab here. And then going to go ahead and flap this route. I mean this, uh, yeah, this route or this interface. So I'm going to shut it down and we should see uh, some output here. So you can see here that penalty has uh, charge penalty 1000, new accumulative penalty 1000, uh, flapped count one. So now our penalty is 1000. And we can actually uh, just, you know, check the BGP flap statistics for all the paths, and we see that uh, we see the letter H here um, means history. And of course, the we only have a penalty of 1,000, so it's not it hasn't exceeded the the uh, 2,000. Uh, value which is default <clears throat> and actually we can verify all the default parameters by doing this command here so 
here, yeah. And this is another way to look at it. Parameters, looking for parameters. It's not here, let me, I think I removed it. Parameters should be perfect. Here, let me just add it here again. Okay, so we only have, uh, like I said earlier, yeah, now it's uh, penalty is 932 because it's actually uh, decaying. Yeah, this is what I said earlier. Uh, decayed instead of home decreased, which is not really something that you would say on a daily basis, but yeah. So penalty decayed or decreased to 932 after 38 seconds. <clears throat> so I'm just going to, no shut it again, because of course that route is not in the BGP table, I mean routing table. Yeah, it's not here. So I'm going to no shot see if it's if it's gonna be in the BGP table that is yeah How about routing table yeah, it's here so I'm going to flop it again so I'm going to shut the port now I'm going to just do this command here still here Oh yeah, because yeah. So <clears throat> just to look at here, penalty is now 1,884, and it's just decayed to 1,876. So I'm going to just no shut the port again, because if I just do this command here. Yeah, it's history and should not be in the BGP table, yes. Yeah, because it's the port is down. I'm going to no shut it. Give it some time. Okay, let me just double check. Okay, it's here. Yeah, it's not history anymore. I mean, it's it's been installed in the routing table. Yeah, it's here. Okay, I'm going to uh, shut it down again. So we should see that the penalty should increase should increase to now 2,790, which has exceeded the default value of 2000. So now uh, we should, when I do this command here, uh, yeah, I'm gonna actually no shut again. Just give it a minute, okay. We can see that it's dumped now before it was just. Uh, uh, we only saw letter H next to this route. Now it's dumped, so meaning it's not in the BGP table anymore. I mean, well, well it's in the BGP table, but it is tagged as dumped, but def definitely not, definitely not in the routing table. Yes. And if we actually just, I want to show, I want to do this command as well. Let me just copy and paste it. We see that penalty is now uh, 2,643, which is which is still uh, exceeding the, the the default value of 2,000. So, yeah. But uh, of course, it's still decaying, continuously decaying. 
um, and eventually it's gonna it's gonna install it into its routing table again. Yeah, we have we just have to give it some time, but um, I'm actually not gonna wait for it because uh, that's gonna make this video a little bit too long. But I want to see, I just want to check if there's something that we can do here. Let me just do this command here. Okay, it's damped. Okay. And you see the same thing in, yeah, you see the same thing in, in the BGP table. And it's not in the routing table. Yes. Clear. Just do this again. Ah, okay. Ah, okay, so clear BGP flap is statistics for all the routes. Let me actually try to do this command because I don't want to wait until this uh, decaying, uh, penalty decaying parameter <clears throat> will eventually uh, decrease or penalty will, event will eventually decrease. I'm not going to wait for that. So I'm going to just clear the BGP dampened path so that uh, we so that the route will be installed in the BGP and routing table again. So there's no oh, okay dampening. Okay, I'm gonna just replace this command. Okay, let's now check the BGP table. Yeah, it's here. Yeah, it's also in the routing table. So that's how you can actually uh, configure BGP route dampening. So this is uh, something that you don't see um, on, you don't usually see on, uh, on, you know, on your routers, because uh, based on what I learned, uh, this was uh, commonly used in the past because the routers uh, at that time weren't that powerful, meaning that the CPU and memory, stuff like that, were not that, uh, uh, you know, powerful or were not that, uh, we didn't, uh, routers in the past didn't have a lot of CPUs, but now uh, we we do have. I mean, most of our routers have a lot of CPU uh, CPUs and memory, so uh, it's not really a problem now. And I don't see the I don't I haven't seen this uh, myself in real world, so. <laughs> That's something that she doesn't see on a daily basis. All right, that's all I wanna uh, say about uh, BGP route dampening. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.